Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Montero. This is your singles love reading for Leo. How are you guys? I thought I would do a quick singles reading for who you will date next. Okay, so I thought I'd seen an upside down card. There we are, I don't like that. So Leo, who is your next date? I'm just gonna focus on that and who this person is. I'm not gonna go into any major details. It's just who this person will be. The next date you have. Right. So I see the fool and the knight of swords. Oh yeah, this is someone who definitely knows what they want. Someone's ready to take a risk. <laughs> they could be a, an Aries, someone who knows what they want. Someone who's kind of, this person could chase you. It could go the other way too. But I, look at that. Yeah, this is someone who's single. This is someone who's definitely single. They're looking into the future, making plans for the future. Someone who takes care of themselves their house, their home, okay, their finances, nice. This is someone who may want to find out if you are single, if there's been a connection made, but I see a single person, someone who kind of sticks to themselves. This is someone who's becoming sure, okay, about what they want. So, yeah, ready to take that leap of faith, leaving something in the past, and it's going to be the single life. So we have the King of Wands. We have the star. Very nice. Two people who value each other, see each other's worth. I see some mutual respect here. This is someone who's letting go of something. They're ready to let go of their single life. This is someone who knows what they want. They're going after what they want. So I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So we'll leave it at that. A little Aquarius energy is interesting here. So who is your next date? There we go. Yeah. So there is definitely this is somebody who's kind of lonely. They've been living alone for a while. They have everything they need, but they don't have love. So it's someone who's ready to connect with the star. You know, they're ready to let go of the single life. You see, they're becoming decisive, gaining some kind of clarity. It's time to take that leap of faith. It's time for a new path. Yeah, someone who's a little lonely. There's something lacking in their life, you see. <laughs> Uh, what I feel, too, is empty nesters for some of you, someone whose children have left home, okay, or someone who's lonely and is ready for a family. It could go either way. Yeah, someone who's tired of living alone. They have everything but love. So look at that teamwork, cooperation. Someone's ready for a whole new path. They're ready to team up, to cooperate, compromise. Nice energy. This is someone very creative, theatrical, hardworking, Okay, someone who's very passionate about the things that they want. Not afraid to go after what they want either, once they make up their mind. So someone is definitely uh, become, you know, doing a lot of thinking. Um, so you're going to date this person. Interesting enough, yeah. See, that's Six of Swords. So someone who knows, right? They're ready to go down a path. They're leaving the past in the past, and that's going to be the single life. This is a person who wants to get to know you more. They definitely will want to get to know you. They could be at a bit of a distance, uh, but I actually feel this is someone who's, um, it's almost like, um, Somebody who's quite wise, they've learned their lessons from the past about cooperation and compromise and teamwork, right? That's what I feel. This person knows they're ready. And that's what I feel. This is someone who is ready. Uh, and I do feel they are, for a lot of you, they're someone who's lonely. They have everything, but they live alone. They feel like there's something missing in their life and they're kind of looking out there. It's time to, time to make a choice to go down a path, a whole new path, uh, getting to know someone. This could be somebody who's re recently relocated as well. Leo, there we go. Yeah, look at that energy. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, we have somebody who's manifesting. They have all the tools they need. See, they have all the information, the tools they've learned from their past. They're ready to move forward calmly and peacefully, willing to cooperate and compromise. And that's what they're looking for. There's someone who's compatible, sees their worth and their value, vice versa. It's in the heart of the reading. Uh, nice energy. Yeah. King of Pentacles. Somebody who's good at manifesting money. As I say, they're creative. They're hardworking. Uh, definitely someone who knows what they want. So this is someone who doesn't want to miss an opportunity. Okay. So I feel like you're going to meet this person at some point here, Leo. I do feel they have a little Aries in their chart. They have some of that fiery, passionate, creative, hardworking energy. 
Uh, this is someone who's looking for someone who's financially stable, Knight of Pentacles. They want to take their time uh, getting to know you, okay? They don't want to miss an opportunity. They are a little concerned about being rejected, but this is someone who does not want to miss an opportunity. So they're being very wise. They're manifesting, going to take the time to get to know you. They don't want to miss anything. Uh, and I like that energy, and that's the way I'm seeing this person. They have the tools, this magician energy to manifest. Very nice energy. Yeah, they, this is what they want, though, is the tools, okay? They want the information. They need to get to know you more. Uh, taking things slow, not missing an opportunity. This person isn't, this is someone who you'll, I feel you're going to see more than once. I, I see this person uh, moving forward, you know, down this path by being very creative, thinking of uh, ways to manifest, to spend time with you. They don't want to miss a moment is what I kind of feel. I don't think they're going to be uh, super slow, but I don't see them rushing. I feel like it's going to be a little more balanced. So we'll see where this goes. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. A little clarity on that Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, this is someone who's who's ready for a partner, teamwork, cooperation. They're looking for somebody uh, who has their best interest at heart as well. Interesting. Yeah, wow. Two single people coming together, see? Nice. King of Wands. Who is this person? Yeah, they do have a bit of an ego. But they're releasing it with the star. They're letting go of their ego. <laughs> They've had a few false victories. This person knows. They've learned, right? Uh, be a little more cooperative. So a little bit of an ego, but they're planning for success. Okay. They could be very financially successful, get a lot of attention. They actually could be famous, uh, quite well known. Somebody who's known within the community. Okay. That sort of energy. Somebody who's quite well known. Uh, I do feel this is someone who's lacking something, though. You see, they're lonely. They have everything uh, with that Nine of Pentacles. They're looking into the future. You see, there's nothing there. They're home alone. All they do is work. Now they have everything they need, but they don't have love. They don't have anyone to share it with, uh, is what I feel. Okay. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. There we are. See, this is someone who's gone within, taking a little pause, a little time to reflect, looking at things from a different angle, different perspective. This is someone who may be checking you out to actually see if you are single. Uh, you may met this person. This could be in their place of business, in their communities. Ten of Pentacles, as far as a place goes, is people where, where people spend money, where they congregate. Okay, it's, it's positive energy. So they may be someone who's been checking you out. Uh, you may be someone who's checked them out as well, Leo. But I do see a little Sagittarius energy. Some of you may be releasing a Sagittarius because they come in with lack. It could be yourself. But I see this path is going towards this person who's manifesting by taking things slow, making plans. Somebody who doesn't want to be rejected. Somebody who doesn't want to miss an opportunity. So they are somebody who knows when to go after an opportunity when it's presented. So I kind of feel this is someone who's been kind of checking you out, you know, looking at things from a different possibility. You know, someone who doesn't have a partner. They don't have anyone to share uh, time with. And someone who lives alone. And that's where I feel their energy is. So this is who they are. So as far as the first date goes... Oh, yeah, teamwork. This person's ready for a new path. They're letting go, uh, letting go of that ego. <laughs> False victories. They've learned. Yeah, see, they're learning from their mistakes. Leo, Leo, tell me about this. Yeah, so what I'm feeling here is you got, you know, this is someone who's in control of their emotions. Uh, they're moving away. This is somebody who wants to have success. They're planning. This is all about success. Uh, two people who are compatible, who build each other up, look out for each other's best interests. They're looking for a partner. Some of you, they are somebody who may want children as well, okay, for a few of you, or they have children. Yeah, so there we go. This person's ready for a new path. They're ready for a new beginning. Some of you, I do see the possibility that you're um, leaving someone in the past. You're ready to go down a new path yourself, okay? I see this energy but i actually feel this is someone who is single and is tired of being single they've had false victories probably dated a lot of people or they get a lot of people giving them unwanted attention as well 
Uh, they may be someone who's rejected a lot of people because they're looking for someone who's just right. So I see that, you know, they want to start something with you. They see you as compatible, you know, they're willing to cooperate and compromise. It'll take both of you to do that, though. So learn the lessons from the past as well. So, yeah, see, taking action, fighting for what you want. I see having fun with this person. You may meet them at a sporting event, at a party, a celebration. Uh, it could be something competitive, but it feels very positive, okay? Uh, very nice energy. I love it when I see the five of wands in a positive. Uh, yeah, see, taking the time to get to know each other. If there is any conflict or you don't, you know, feel right, then you move on towards someone else. But I feel with that six of swords, it's like you both kind of want the same things. There is, I do feel some of you, they are, you may meet someone at a distance <clears throat> when you're some, somewhere. It could be at a, out shopping in another town. Simple as that, right? It could be anything uh, where the obstacles are the distance, the travel. So I do feel it's going to take a little time to get to know each other, but I do think that you both want uh, to, to take the time to get to know each other, right? Two people leaving uh, the past in the past too, ready to go down this path calmly and peacefully by cooperating. It's an energy of two people who build each other up. So you both want the same thing. Two people who want the same thing. Leo, yeah, so there's that energy. So I see a little Taurus energy. Nice. This is about two people being on the same page, the same path. Look at that, uh, the way they conduct themselves. I think you have things in common. <clears throat> I think this you both want the same thing. I think this person um, uh, communicates well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like... Yeah, this person's manifesting. See, what they're doing is getting all the tools, getting to know you before they really take action. Okay, but this is somebody, once they know what they want, they go after it. They fight for it. They see you as marriage material. See, they see you as somebody that, you know, they can have faith in. See you as a partner, someone they can connect with. I do think it's a little bit of a friends first connect to see if you're on the same page, to see if you see a future. And I do think you'll see more of each other. Uh, really nice energy. I think you're going to be manifesting each other. I feel like you mirror each other. You both kind of want the same thing, right? Uh, you want to partner someone uh, to build something. Or you're already both financially stable and have everything you need. And coming together is even that much better. So lovely, lovely energy. Very positive. Uh, I see you having fun with this person. I think your senses of humor will be similar. Because I see that compatibility. I, I don't think either one of you have problems expressing yourself, but it does say, you know, with the Queen of Pentacles, you know, make sure you're on the same page. Look into the future. Do you see yourself married to this person? Okay. Do you see yourself with this person? Do you see you that you connect? Very positive. Yeah, I, I see the two of you connecting. Well, you might just want to kind of be friends first. Some of you, this person could actually be a friend, possibly, if you are moving away from someone, one person, because you're not compatible, uh, you may be actually connecting with a friend. <laughs> but I see faith, the way someone conducts themselves. I see you looking at this. This could be themselves, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, looking into the future, you know, someone who's ready for something different. Yeah, it's about taking time, being... There you are. Yeah. You know what you want and you're not settling, you see. You know, you're in that energy. But they see you as very sexy, very attractive. They see you very invested in creative pursuit. See, this is the stuff that you're looking at with each other. If you, you know, you get each other, you communicate well. You know, you're both creative, both passionate, both possibly successful. Or you want that. Maybe you've not had a successful marriage. Uh, but I feel this is very positive. It's telling you to be patient. Take your time. Give this person a chance to invest. They are a little slower, okay? So maybe you need to do that and cooperate and slow down a little yourself, Leo, okay? You see a little Aries energy. They may have Aries in their chart. Doesn't mean, I mean, this could be even yourself, but that fool is that looking over your shoulder and going for it. I think you're going to go for this person. Um, for some of you, definitely there's someone who's been kind of checking you out, wanting to approach you. Make sure you are approachable. Okay, when you're out and about, <laughs> watch your ego, all right? 
So someone who probably sees you as someone who dresses really nice, you always look good kind of energy. Make sure you're approachable. It's sort of telling you maybe um, show that earthy side, okay, of yourself. I think this person's got some earth in their chart. I, I feel this that earth energy, that grounded, that stable. Uh, I feel you both want financial stability. I see two hardworking, creative people building something together. I see this taking off. Uh, I, this is somebody too. I feel they're quite traditional. They'll court you and date you in a traditional manner at first. I see them picking you up on that first date. Very nice. They have an ego. They probably drive a pretty nice vehicle. <laughs> yeah, they might need you to even build them up a little because they build themselves up with the vehicle, the ego car, right? That's what I'm seeing. That's positive though. But yeah, be careful here, you know, be patient and wait because, you know, don't miss an opportunity with this person. If you're thinking that it's not good enough, that they're not right for you, it's telling you don't invest, don't waste time, don't waste their time. But I actually feel like you could miss an opportunity, be a little cautious, okay? Um, could be them as well. Tell me about the Four of Cups. This is someone who's failing to recognize an opportunity, okay? You could fail to recognize an opportunity if you don't slow down and sort of uh, take the time to talk to this person, stay grounded before you make any kind of a decision if they're right for you or not, you know? Do you see yourself with this person in the future? Do you see them as a soulmate? Are you connected? Are you on the same page? I, I think you're going to want to invest. And I, I could be yourself too, making sure that they are. So yeah, I think you're going to take a leap of faith here. I don't think you're going to miss this opportunity. <laughs> and I don't think they are. I see two people taking a leap and a risk to go down a path. Both of you, you're mirroring each other here. So lovely energy. So I feel like the first date is just going to be a normal date. I'm not really focusing too much on that, but I see the connection being made, the talking, uh, you know, about things, getting to know each other. I think there's going to be some laughing, some fun. Uh, I do think there is a distance, maybe a bit of an obstacle if there is travel. For those of you, though, it's about both of you fighting for what you want, uh, moving away. You may be talking about things. It may even get a little... Uh, theatrical okay because I feel like you have that in common king and queen of wands energy and it doesn't mean I mean they could be anybody uh, but it doesn't mean that they're a fire sign I do see some cancer some emotional and I see some Pisces energy uh, I definitely see uh, some connecting energy being on that same plane just want to have one more boo at the chariot yeah, two people, see, controlling your emotions, not letting them control you. Okay, so this person's going to pick you up. They're going to, they might bring you flowers or a little gift. They're going to do things in a traditional manner. And I think you're going to see a future with this person. I think you're going to want to see them, but you need to be patient, all right? Because uh, I feel too, like I feel there's this point where you're going to be kind of um, sort of that one last look over your own shoulder, it's about investment, waiting for your investment to pay off. You know, it's telling you to wait for the investment to pay off. Don't rush. Don't try to rush this person. Don't try to control it. See, two people who need to both learn how to cooperate and compromise and not try to uh, control things and the speed at which it goes. That's the obstacles you have to overcome, taking the time to get to know each other properly. But I think you can overcome it. I think you're both going to end up taking that leap of faith. I think... I love that you're the mirroring energy. I really do. Because I feel like you're going to have a lot more in common than you may even realize. So don't reject this person too quickly. Okay. Be patient. It's telling you to be patient. To not try to control this, Leo. And I feel it's interesting. Some of you may have a lot of uh, fire in your chart. You could actually have Aries and Leo. So if you have that, there's a lot of fire. But I'm seeing that Sag energy as well. See, there's that energy planning for success. So someone who takes a little time, they right, they look at the details, right, waiting for the right time to invest. So someone who's a little focused on their finance as well. So there may be some compromise needing to be made there. Okay, uh, for some of you. If you have several people and you're making a decision and you've kind of been dating a couple, if you agree to disagree with someone and you're not on the same page, then do not invest. Don't waste your time. Okay. 
just leave it behind and go off on a new path. But I actually feel if you uh, don't take a leap of faith, I actually feel it's this person too, uh, that they don't take a risk and take a leap of faith to get to know you. They feel they're going to miss an opportunity, you see. Or it's someone who already has, but I don't really see that. I'm seeing mostly um, that, that going for it, you know, um, being stable, reliable, practical, looking out for each other's best interest to show that you're uh, willing to cooperate, that you want to build something. And I see two creative people building financial stability. I see two people possibly, um, possibly even getting married in the future. But it's more about the Queen of Pentacles as an energy being grounded and practical, being sincere, looking, do you see yourself with this person? Do you see yourself connecting with them? You may feel like you don't at first because they are a little less emotional. I feel there's a little of that energy or you feel that they are on your same page. That's the only real obstacles or distance I see. I see two people having fun, getting to know each other, traveling back and forth to visit each other. I see having a good time. Uh, I see things building and this really starting. Everything is going to be illuminated and brought to the surface. And it does take time and it takes investment. So nice. <laughs> yeah, I think we have a couple people who are focused on finances a lot as well. So take care, Leo. I wish you the best and we'll see you soon.